everyone. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do a what I eat in a day post. So I decided to film myself for 24 hours to show you all what I eat in a day. I typically do not share my macros, um, mostly because I don't want people to think that those macros should be their macros. But in this post, I will be sharing what I eat in a day and my macros, obviously, because you all will be seeing what I eat. Just a heads up, a little warning. My macros works for like my lifestyle, but that might not necessarily be the same for you. So what I suggest doing is going to an online calculator. If you just Google macro calculator, you'll find a bunch. I like if it fits your macros. Um, there are a few other ones that are good out there. I think bodybuilding might have one. Um, Sometimes they overestimate on the amount of carbohydrates that you can have. I typically like to decrease that by like 20 to 30 grams. So based off your lifestyle, it kind of just calculates what macros you need based off of you know what you do for your job. Are you active or are you sedentary? Um, how often do you work out? You know how tall are you? How much do you weigh? Stuff like that. So. Um, I suggest using an online calculator, but obviously you can always use, you know, my macros as a guide. I wouldn't necessarily just take those macros because I'm not really sure, you know, what you do every single day. So I definitely suggest doing an online calculator. Um, and since I have you all here, I want to go ahead and answer a few frequently asked questions about my nutrition. Um, I do not do intermittent fasting. I eat about five to six meals a day, typically three larger meals with snacks in between. And you will see that um, when you see the video because I like to have multiple meals. <laughs> I'm a very hungry gal. If I had to fast until noon or one, I think I would die. Um, but yeah, I love different types of snacks. I love, you know, almonds and bananas and oatmeal. I love to plan a lot of my carbs around my workout. I mean, you gotta eat a lot of protein and that's no fun, but you just have to get used to it because that's how you build muscle, right? You gotta eat the protein that you, your body needs. So how many meals do you eat per day? I eat three large meals with two to three snacks in between. So like six meals-ish. Um, what does a typical meal look like for you? So what I typically do is I'll have some type of protein, some type of fat, and some type of carbs. Um, if it's a snack, I might not have all three, but if it's a meal, I'll definitely have all three. What do you use to track your macros? Okay, so I've been using my fitness pal for the longest time. And when you go ahead and watch this video, after every meal and snack, I'll have like a little clip of the macros, and that is from my fitness pal. You can save certain meals if you make things from scratch and if you make it frequently, you can save it as a meal and just go back to it constantly. You can auto copy from previous dates if you like to eat the same thing for a week like me, like you'll, you can just easily track that. So um, I never had a problem with my fitness pal, but I know it's kind of tedious to track it. There's always intuitive eating, but if you're not good at knowing what goes in your body, you might be eating more than you think you are because you'd be surprised at how you know how many grams of fat or how many calories are in a handful of almonds. You just need to like get accustomed to tracking it and then you could probably intuitively eat. Like during the winter, I intuitively, I just, I know how much protein is in the chicken that I'm eating. I know how many ounces of chicken just by looking at it. I would definitely recommend getting a food skill if you don't know, if you have no concept of like ounces of meat, which I used to never, definitely get a food skill. It'll save you a lot of trouble, trust me. What do your macros look like and how many calories do you eat? You will see that in this video, so keep watching. Do you carb cycle? I used to carb cycle um, probably like two years ago. I would cut the amount of grams of carbs I would for like every other week or every two weeks. And um, I would have a really, really low carb day and then a really, really high carb day and get like a great lift in on the high carb day. But it's just not something that you can really maintain for like a long term situation. So I just ended up stopping and doing just basic macros every single day with a cheat meal. I have a cheat meal every weekend. So 
my cheat meals are really aggressive. Jay and I like live for it during the week. Cause when you behave during the week, you need to treat yourself. And there's more to a cheat meal than just like a mental break. It's, there's a reason like, you've been in a caloric, if, you, if you've been cutting, you've been in a caloric deficit and you need to kind of refeed. But um, we haven't been doing, you know, we don't really bulk and cut because I don't like, I don't compete, I just do this because I love to like feel healthy and you know what I mean? But per usual, winter months, holiday months, you're putting on a few pounds because you know, you indulge and it's not like that's life, it's not a big deal. So right now I'm in a little bit of a caloric deficit, not a huge one, but a little one just to like kind of get back track, get back on track until summer gets here. And um, it's, it's been fine. Okay, I think I went off on a tangent on that one, sorry about that. Do you have a cheat day? I answered that. Don't worry, I got you. Ooh, how much water do you drink in a day? Um, I actually do track my water for the most part because if I don't track my water, then I won't drink enough. I have this like severe problem with dehydration. Like I have to track my water because I'm not the kind of person, you know, people like carry water bottles with them all the time and like drink water and like just like, love to drink water. I am not like that. Like I'm, I could go like probably seven days without water. It's kind of scary. So I track my water. I drink 100 to 120 ounces a day, depending on the workout. Um, if it's a rest day, it'll be 100. If I'm working out, 120. Uh, but yeah, I have to track it. I have this huge Yeti, um, like 32 ounce cup, and I just keep refilling it. I eat, I drink three a day with like my meals, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's like 90 and then I'm already like almost done with it. Like drink a little bit of water in between and at the gym and then you're pretty much there. So it's really not that bad. But I just have to remember to drink it, which is the hard part. <laughs> um, do you drink alcohol? Yeah, I do. I do. I'm not even gonna like try to play around and be like, no, I don't. No, I drink alcohol. Um, I do have a social life. Jordan and I love to go out and grab drinks too. We love to like hang out with friends. We love to go to like sports events and stuff like that. <clears throat> I am not a beer drinker, so I don't drink beer luckily because beer isn't the best for you. But um, it's not like vodka is any better. I, if I'm drinking hard liquor, I drink a vodka soda with a lime. I try not to go over two to three drinks um, just because, maybe call me a lightweight, I don't know. But, I do prefer to drink wine. I will typically steer away from sweet drinks, sweet wines, any of that nature. I love a good Pinot Noir or Cab. Um, if I'm like at a sports bar and you can't really order like a glass of wine, like I get it, I'll order like a vodka soda or something like that and just sip on it. But yeah, I drink and I try to incorporate it into my sheet meal so that you know, I don't really feel that guilty about it because it's not like we drink during the week or anything. I will have a glass of wine maybe during the week. A glass of wine on Friday or a glass of wine on Thursday. Like, one glass of wine isn't gonna hurt you. You can definitely fit that into your macros if you're trying to like actually fit that into your macros. I typically like don't even track it because well, like, what's one glass of wine? You know, live your life. Live your best life. What are some healthy snacks that you love? That's the last question. So you'll see some of my snacks that I eat throughout the day, but I love a good handful of nuts, like almonds, cashews. It's just like so filling and then you can have a piece of fruit with it. Um, I love cottage cheese. You are you all already know that I love cottage cheese, so I'm not gonna get into it. But I do love cottage cheese. Um, when in doubt, make a protein shake, especially at night or post-workout, but at night, it's like the best time to have a protein shake because it's kind of like a delicious, sweet treat. You know, you're, you're kind of tricking yourself that you're like having a milkshake, but you're not. Um, and I will link the protein powder that I use, which is amazing. I just tried the graham cracker flavor. Oh. Yeah, it's that good. It's that good. Um, I make my protein shakes with Vanilla Carb Master, which is a Kroger brand of milk. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess it's milk, but it's like low carb, high protein. It's kind of like Fair Life. If you don't have a Kroger around you, you can get Fair Life instead. Um, or 
if you're really tight on your macros, if you've like eaten a lot throughout the day and you're like, wow, I like really want a protein shake at night, but I don't want to go over, then um, almond milk or like almond cashew milk, unsweetened obviously, but the vanilla unsweetened is really good. And like one cup is like 20 calories. Like I don't even measure that. I don't even track that. I'm like just pouring almond milk in it because it's fine. Um, but yeah, those are a few of my favorite snacks. I love like deli meat wrapped around a pickle. I know that's weird. I mean, I love a good sandwich, but if it's like a snack, like I don't know why I like that. I think it, I think it tastes great. Um, I love cheese sticks because I'm like 12 years old. Protein bars are good. Like if you're on the go, I always have protein bars in my closet or in my pantry just in case because sometimes you're just on the go and you're like, I'm not gonna be home for like another like five hours and I need to bring a snack with me. So. That's always good. Jerky is always good. Jerky and nuts, I feel like that's like the best combo ever. Like when Jay and I went to Florida, we always stopped by like a Walgreens or a grocery or you know, whatever we can find and pick up a bag of like cashews and some beef jerky. I'm glad I found a partner that's just as weird as I am. But other than that, I think that's all the questions that you all typically ask me. Many people actually have been asking me to post my recipes on my blog. I don't do that. I've I've tried to and I just I feel like I just kind of eyeball things when I cook. I've turned into my mother. I don't know how that happened, but I just like don't have specific measurements. I'm kind of more of like a like dumping things into a pot girl. So um, I do share them on Insta story frequently. So definitely check that out. I'll share, you know, a few meal prep ideas on YouTube and I'll include the ingredients, but I can't do it like every single week because that's a lot um, and I cook a lot, so. <laughs> but hopefully they give you, you know, ideas of things that you could cook that, you know, is healthy and, and still taste. Like, I feel like people think that to eat healthy, you have to have like a little piece of chicken and some, some green beans and, you know, some rice. And I'm like, no, like you can make meals, like you can make white chili or, you can make, um, what are some of my favorite things? I love making salmon and I love, you know, just doing random dishes, casseroles, enchiladas, like anything, as long as it's not fried. Anything can be made healthy. Like you're in control, like you're in charge of what you're making. And if it says, you know, dump a tub of cream cheese in there, like don't do it, like sub it for Greek yogurt. Super easy. Um, so yeah, moral of the story. I probably won't be posting on my blog the recipes, but I will be sharing a few of my favorite meal prep recipes on YouTube. And I always share what I cook on Insta story. Y'all probably see it all the time, but I just get excited because it tastes so good. And I try to give you all measurements as I go, but yeah. So with that being said, here is what I eat in a day, and hopefully you enjoy it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because who wouldn't want to miss this beautiful face, right? Right? Don't answer that. So I start off my day with a cup of coffee, obviously, and a huge glass of water. This is the Yeti cup that I was telling you all about. It's, I think, 32 ounces. It's huge, and I chug that whole thing within like a minute, no joke. After pouring a cup of coffee, I go ahead and toast um, a piece of sprouted seven grain bread from Trader Joe's. The macros on these are just amazing. And they're super tasty. And I do one slice of toast in the morning with my eggs.
You can put a variety of things in your coffee, like almond milk and stuff, but I actually just like the original coffee made. And I end up refilling that same bottle with um, a bigger tub that I get from Costco. And then I put one Splenda, just for some sweetness. You can use Stevia if you'd like. I spray a hot skillet with some Pam spray and crack one egg into it. And then I'll add some extra egg whites as well. I buy my egg whites in bulk from Costco. They come in 16 ounce cartons and I use eight ounces, so half of that carton. I do a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning, which I get from Trader Joe's. This is so good on eggs. So good. Put some pepper, and then I'll sprinkle a little bit of salt as well. And you, you, you say you want to dance. You're wearing, you know, you'll end up in the And there we go. This is my first meal of the day within 30 minutes of waking up. To give your eggs some flavor, I love doing a dollop of tzatziki sauce, which I also get from Costco, but you can make yourself with Greek yogurt. And can't forget about the sriracha. Oh yeah. So these are a few other things that I love to eat in the morning as well. I didn't eat it this morning, but it's pretty great stuff. So this peach salsa from Trader Joe's, this Canadian bacon from Costco, which has great macros on it. Or you can just do some basic deli ham and just put it in a skillet right after your eggs. All right, so I am actually about to take some photos and I haven't had anything since breakfast, so I'm gonna have a few snacks right now. Um, I will probably eat lunch afterwards and then I will have another snack after lunch to uh, prepare myself for my workout. So let's see what else is in the pantry, shall we? I'm starving actually. You never want to see me hangry and taking photos. It's literally miserable. The pantry. Quite the mess. It's a lot of food for a single gal. I mean, yeah, I feed Jay, but like, I mean, for one person living in this house, it's so aggressive. All right, these are some of my favorite snacks. I love just getting a handful of almonds. Good culture cottage cheese, which is delicious. It's so good and tasty. Macros are great. I mean, how can you get 18 grams of protein in just like a cup of cottage cheese? I don't understand it. And then these are some baked chicken bites. They're kind of like jerky in these cool flavors.
All right, y'all, so it is 3.30 and I haven't had lunch. I just got done with photos, I'm starving, I really need to get to the gym. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make a really quick wrap. I don't have anything meal prepped for lunch. I typically don't meal prep for breakfast or lunch. I do have ground turkey already made and seasoned. Um, so I might put that in a wrap. Sometimes I usually just put deli meat in a wrap and just call it a day. But um, I think actually ground turkey would taste really good in a wrap. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sprinkle some bacon bites on it and put some maybe salsa. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what's in the fridge. So hold on. <laughs> These are my favorite tortillas to make wraps with. They are high fiber, low carb. Um, it actually has 11 grams of fiber in it. So a total net carbs of five grams. That's crazy good for a really delicious wrap. And then we've got some ground turkey. I put some um, paprika on it and diced some jalapenos and salt and pepper. And then I love putting some bacon crumbles on my wrap as well. I knew the salsa would come into play eventually. You know, I was thinking about what would be good on this turkey and I knew um, this peach salsa would be perfect. I also put some already pre-made pico de gallo on top and then sprinkle some bacon bits and then it's done, ready to be eaten. That is one hearty wrap. I'm glad y'all didn't see me eat this wrap because it was very messy, but it was also very delicious. So I'm not apologizing. All right, y'all, so I'm about to head to the gym and I'm gonna have one banana and then some oatmeal. Um, there are a few different types of oatmeal that I like, but the one that I'm gonna eat today is just the Trader Joe's oatmeal. So I'm gonna have one banana with that. And I'm gonna make it with Carb Master Vanilla, which I will show you in a second. So this is the Kroger Carb Master milk that I love so much and I always make that in my oatmeal and in my shakes. And this blueberry oatmeal I get from Trader Joe's, also super delicious. But yeah, you can see the macros were really great on that. And then oatmeal's oatmeal. It's just got some good carbs for you. And some fiber. Okay, so I just got back from the gym and let's see, what time is it? It's like 7.15 and typically, Jay's making fun of me. Typically, I would uh, drink a protein shake like Premier Protein or my UMP powder right after my workout. But since it's like dinner time, I'm just gonna eat dinner and it's got a lot of chicken in it. I'm actually eating white chicken chili. The recipe is posted um, on my Instagram story. I will make that a highlight for y'all so you can access it. So it's on Fit with ASD Instagram story, not the Southern Drop, but Fit with ASD. And then um, I will show y'all what the white chili looks like because it is delicious. This is probably one of my favorite meals to meal prep because it's just so tasty on a winter day, you know? Just something warm and light. And I love chicken and soup, so super delicious. We dollop it with some Greek yogurt, cilantro, cheese, lime. And then Jay is putting an avocado on his. Post dinner, um, I usually have a nighttime snack, especially to curb cravings. It's usually something chocolatey. I am making a protein shake with my Beverly International UMP protein powder in the flavor Rocky Road, which is amazing. I did about a cup um, of the Carb Master, one scoop of the protein powder, and then I do about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of PB Fit which is like peanut flour. I put in a couple of ice cubes to make it more like a milkshake. But if you want a banana, in your shake. I highly suggest actually freezing the banana. That way your shake won't be watered down by ice cubes.
And that is it for this what I eat in a day video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel.